Good morning, it's Monday and we're starting a new book of the Bible, or Coffee with Clark, the book of Philippians. The author is Paul. It was written in AD 62. It's a prison epistle, so he was under arrest when he wrote this letter. And the theme of the book is the joy of the Lord. So Paul wrote this letter. I'm just going to give you a little background to the church in Philippi around AD 62 while waiting for his final appeal before Caesar. Though chained to a prison guard in the lower dungeon of the prison, the theme of this letter is joy. It seemed appropriate that Paul would write to them from prison since three years earlier. He also had been in prison in Philippi. After delivering a slave girl who was possessed with the spirit of divination, her master, seeing that their fortune-telling business was gone, seized Paul and Silas and accused them of teaching customs which were not lawful. As he and Silas were singing in prison at midnight, the Lord miraculously delivered them, which led to the conversion of the jailer. And that was uh, seen in Acts chapter 16, verses 16 through 34. Fascinating story. So Philippi was located in present-day Greece and was a capital city. Paul had founded the church in Philippi on his second missionary journey. Lydia, a seller of purple, and the slave girl who was delivered from demons were among those who comprised the early church in Philippi, which grew into a healthy body that supported Paul more than any other church. Paul wrote the letter to thank them for a gift they had sent and to give them instruction on unity within the church. Despite terrible circumstances, Paul had learned the secret to contentment and joy and shared this with the church for which he had so much affection. Epaphroditus and Timothy were both with him at this time, helping with his writings and waiting to carry his letter to the various churches. Epaphroditus would deliver the letter to the church in Philippi. These Christians saw firsthand how joy can come while in the midst of the most difficult circumstances in life. As Paul encouraged them that God was still in charge, Philippians is a special book that shows us how to live above our rising above adversity, not just by surviving, but by thriving in the joy of the Lord. So this is so timely again for us right now in the time that we're living. Uh, don't need to go into all the details of what you and I are personally experiencing along with our families and church community, but these are very, very difficult days that we're living in. So we're going to look at the greeting, just a couple verses. It says in chapter 1, verse 1, Paul and Timothy, bond servants of Jesus Christ, so they're working together in the ministry, to all the saints in Christ Jesus who are in Philippi with the bishops and the deacons. So uh, Paul is writing this to the believers called saints, which we are, to the church in Philippi, and also to the leadership. In the early church, worked with bishops, and another name for bishop, bishop could be Presbyterius, elder, whatever, but uh, it was a little different setup back then because they had people overseeing groups of churches and cities. And so also the deacons were present. And he said, grace to you and peace from God, our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. So one of the key uh, encouragements that Paul always gave the church was, first of all, the grace of God. And the grace of God is what sustains us in our Christian life. It's what empowers us. It's what gives us the ability to keep our head above water, if you may. It's not our own strength. So whenever, whenever you pray, ask God for more grace to sustain you in whatever it is you're being challenged by and whatever it is it is that is trying to rob the joy of the Lord from you. It's the grace of God that provides these things. And it's from the Lord God, our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ, that this grace comes to us. So just the background, we'll pick it up again tomorrow. God bless you guys. Mm -hmm.